Hello and welcome back to Sarah Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season 3, episode 8 of Breaking Bad, and this one's called I See You. So, yeah, last episode was honestly one of my favourites of the season. It was Hank centric, where he essentially he made a choice, a bad choice, took responsibility, and now he's accepting the consequences that are coming his way, which is Chef's Kiss, what I want from a character. <laughs> what would never? <laughs> last episode was so fucking good both Hank's and Jesse's were just so fucking good and Jesse just let rip on wall about everything he's that's been building up and how he feels as though his life has just gone completely downhill since he met Walt which I think I made a comment about it last last season I don't know I can't remember I was sent to the YouTube uh, version last night and I was just like this is such a good fucking episode so good <laughs> and I mentioned a few things uh in the edit as well how in the opening scene how his chair looked like a wheelchair which was my mind didn't make that connection until I was editing it and I was looking at it going oh my god he's got big wheels it looks like a wheelchair and then he stood up and it made it even more men oh, really fucking good I was so tense the whole time that last freaking thing but I don't know I was telling Hank to run and then you know I think when I'm editing the full length on the YouTube, I think about the episode too much. I have all this stuff rattling in my ra my mind. I think, oh, well, I'll say that in my next introduction. And then I forget. <laughs> but I was thinking how... I was telling Hank to drive away. I was telling him to run. But I think he made a better decision. Because if he ran away, he wouldn't have known who the evil twins were and who were after him. And he could have possibly led them back to Marie. And I think in that minute of time he had while his adrenaline was building and he was starting to panic i think he genuinely was thinking about the options and staying and fighting was probably one of the best options considering he did win although he got shot a shitload and almost axed to death he won <laughs> because it was too easy <laughs> he won which i'm grateful for because i love hank and if he died i would be so freaking sad but see i'm talking too much now so <laughs> enough chattering and let's get Oh, speaking of wheelchairs, <laughs> they're all coming to pick him up. Oh, well, his partner, Bradley's spanking partner. That's smoke, you need to be another 20 feet from the door. Roll me further, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna be nosy? He's coming. Will it be Hank? Oh, He's alright. He's alright. He's alright. He's alright. He's alright. He's I'm really happy, yeah. I'm great. <laughs> I thought things were going pretty well. I, oh. I thought we were kind of simpatico, you know? Oh, he we sounds like he's getting broke up. So much. Oh. And he looked up to him. He was much like, more than that. trying to get his good graces and just like him. And... Oh, hey, yo. Is it me? I'm a chemist. <laughs> Promising future. It's just that, that I. That, that Gail, it's not you. It's me. Okay. Rhythms, Gail. It's. Shit. Man, this is the ball. I can't believe this. This is my replacement. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, classical. <laughs> Hi. Gail. Nice to meet you. What's so, Man, we should have ditched that RV months ago. Time to go, Gail. Go your own lap. Make it better. Hold on. Take what you've learned and make it better. We're in my business. You haven't talked to anybody today other than, you know, Captain Nerd there. Oh, yeah, you won't know about Hank. Why? Brother in law. I'm gonna guess with how surprised he is, it wasn't him that made the call. So I'm 
thinking it might have been Gus, the whole two birds, one stone period. Then to him right from the start and let him arrest that little degenerate, he wouldn't have had to take things into his own hands and he would have had a gun and could have defended himself. No, it's just... I've never even heard his name. If you hadn't got marijuana from him. She's going back with her blame. Okay. <laughs> she, she's real. Everything. Everybody's being blamed. blame and it's understandable. Yeah. Fixing what you can, eh? <laughs> It was. Of course she know. She doesn't care. She's probably not in the mood to be no. lied to today. <laughs> I survived. I had my lobectomy at this hospital. Get every green light. I mean every single light that we hit. Green. All I could think about was why today? Can't I just spend a few extra minutes in the car with my dad? Never wanted to be stuck in traffic so bad in my life. As much as I hate Walt, I'm I'm liking this dialogue. <laughs> with my family. I'll get him the best lawyer. Then we'll learn the truth. Well, keep me apprised. It's gonna be like, oh shit. <laughs> Anytime you've got that kind of close. It definitely was good then. Definitely. I say, it's really too soon to tell. <laughs> A lot of please. <laughs> yeah, curious was, how uh, you know, guardedly Gus is going to get to that other point. Hey guys, Maybe he's I'm got someone on the payroll. The police officer. We're just swapping Hank stories. Oh, his legs, eh? Oh. He knows what you look like, well... for the DEA. You heard what happened? He's gonna feed every cop in the building. That's that's wonderful. Yeah. That's what happened, Dave. Apparently this is so his way of telling him. of telling Walt that he knows. hundred percent. He is not a problem for us. For our business. I feel like if he thought it would have been a problem he wouldn't have hired you in the first place. I'm sure they'll be fine. I am told the assassin that survived is gravely injured. It's time for who live. Lately. 
Ah. <laughs> Didn't get to see him wake up. But yeah, that was season three, episode eight of Breaking Bad. But yeah, that was that was definitely one of those like steady episodes after a, a big plot drop action episode where we were able to focus on a lot of character interaction with bits of plot in between. Mostly plot with Gus. Jesse was just faffing around. <laughs> I do love a character study episode because we got some of it in Hank's last episode and then now today we got a bit of Walt because he we didn't really get much of him last episode so it's kind of full circle. <laughs> See a bit of Marie as well. I thought it was really funny how Skylar's just not interested in Walt's false sort of persona that he has nowadays and she's just like oh, don't need to be lied to today you know leave me out of it <laughs> but they're all such good characters and it's a case of if they were all sat around eating dinner which they were in the cafeteria could this have been a genuine conversation between those characters and it was and it was I thought it was really good especially Walt's dialogue about his his trip to the hospital I thought that was really fucking good but Gus has been killing it he's been killing it business wise hasn't he because he's you know he's got rid of the whole problem with the vengeance twins and then he's taken out this family now <laughs> and he's also got Walt by the Sean Killies, do you know what I mean? Calling him out, went to the hospital directly <laughs> with the fucking chicken to call him out. <laughs> but yeah, so full length and early access available at patreon.com forward slash Sarah Reacts and I'll see you next time.